this in these videos we're gonna work out some praxis two problems on trigonometry and these type of problems um, also relate to um, high school exam I think uh, trig problems that you'd come across here we have these which seem to be fairly common it's an equation that says if y equals 5 times the sine of x minus 1 what is the maximum value of y well and now if you forget this you can tinker around with this on your graphing calculator but if you're, if you're going to graph the sine, the sine curve think about um, its, its amplitude right it ranges from 1 down to negative 1 and the sine of, the sine of 0 is, is 0 right and it's going to just kind of go up and down and, and the wave function is going to go and let me actually draw this here this line right here should be negative one sorry and this line up here should be positive one this is a man that's an awful drawing let me, let me try that again the sine function all right and this is this is this is important it's not just uh, for this question but many trigonometry questions if we have up here positive one and this applies to cosine as well and then negative one down here that's still a little off negative one down here and we're graphing the sine function right the sine function is just gonna is a wave that is going to fluctuate between right those amplitudes unless unless we unless we change unless we change the way sine is being presented like here we're, we are changing the amplitude here but um, still sine of x you can think of that as having a highest value of what of one right if we're graphing sine of x that the maximum value it'll ever reach is right here at one so sine of x we're looking for a maximum value the biggest value that could take on is one so let's assume we've got the biggest value sine of x equals one and just substitute that number into the equation. So y equals 5 times 1 minus 6, which is 5 minus 6 or negative 1. So the answer here is just negative 1. That's the biggest value y could ever have. Up next, we